Welcome everyone, today I want to talk about graphic overrides in Archicad. First of all, graphic overrides are quite new. You can only find them in Archicad 21 and 22. You can open the graphic override menu by clicking on the little symbol in the quick options toolbar or you find the menu at document, graphic overrides, graphic override combinations. Using the overrides you can change hatches, line types, pens, for specific parts of your drawings it's quite complicated to explain because it's really extensive so I will give you some examples. The default presettings in this case won't work that good anymore because yeah well I changed the fill types in the Archicad file here for uh, yeah for one of the first videos of the series so let's create our own overrides. In the first example I just want the walls to be shown in black just like it should be in a design plan. Let's open the menu. On the left side we have all existing override combinations. On the right side are the rules of each override combination. So to create a graphic override we have to create rules first or we can choose between the existing rules. Down here you can create new combos, delete them, import, export them. Let's create a new one and call it Plex Structure. Now we see that the rules window is empty. We can add new rules by clicking on add or create our own ones from the scratch. In this case I am pretty sure there already is a rule for overriding the hatches of structural parts with a solid black hatch and it's called all cut fills solid no skin separators. And when we click on ok we see that our walls turn black. The same thing would happen in a section as well. So we could use this as an easy way for skipping between design and executional planning. Let's create some new rules. In the second example I want to have all concrete outlines shown with a 0.5mm line thickness. We should create a new override first and call it concrete outlines. Instead of add we click on added rules and then on new rules at the left bottom corner. I call the first one concrete 0.5 so I know what's meant. Now we have to work with criteria. I start with 3D types instead of walls only so even slabs and roofs would be implemented in this rule. I add another criteria to specify. If I wouldn't add a new criteria all 3D types so basically everything would be displayed with a 0.5 line. I choose surface and materials and finally building material and reinforced concrete. So that's my criteria. All 3D parts made of reinforced concrete. And in the second step we have to choose what will happen with these parts. We're able to change the line type, the pen, the fill type, the foreground and background color and the surface material in 3D. We also can choose if we want only the color of the new pen to be overwritten or the line thickness too. That's important in our case, we want to override color and line weight. And the only thing that should change is the pen. So we select pen 5 instead of 1 here. And we're done. Let's click on OK and add the new rule to our combination. The last example is a simple check. You can check if your building's thermal hull is continuously or if you have some gaps in it. To do that we create a new override and call it thermal hull check. We create a new rule and call it insulation color. As criteria we choose all 3D types that contain all types of insulations. So here you can see that you always have the opportunity to choose between N and OR. In this case we want OR but keep that in mind if you want to create very specific new criteria. So we simply want all 3D parts that contain any kind of insulation to be shown with a red background color. Even the uncutted parts like windows and doors. 
so we can visualize our thermal hull. And as we can see, it looks very fine here. Of course, it's not very complicated. So I hope you learned something new. Please leave a like and don't hesitate to write a comment underneath this video. Subscribe if you haven't done yet. And as always, have a great day and stay creative.